This was taken in my grandmother's bedroom. This was in my grandmother's bathroom. Yeah, we had separate bathrooms. She had one in her room, and there was one in the hall. This was taken in my bedroom. In my grandmother's home. This was in front of the closet door. In my bedroom. This was taken in my bathroom. In my grandmother's home. This was a taken in my bedroom. Y'all see how I'm on a bed? Do you believe I had a bed at my grandmother's home for no reason? It was my bed. It was my bedroom. It was my room in her home that we lived in together. It was my room. And this was back in 2012. For those of you saying that this was after she passed away. This was taken in my grandmother's bedroom. That's my grandmother's bed. That's her mirror. This was also taken in my grandmother's bedroom. My grandmother's bedroom. This is my bedroom. This is my bed. This is my bedroom again. I'm sitting in front of the closet. This is again my bedroom. I'm sitting on my bed. Again, my bedroom. My bed. Meemaw's room. That's Meemaw's bed. I lived with her. It was not a situation where I was just coming and visiting. I lived there. This is me and her in her bedroom. On my birth. She's not scared of me. I lived with her. I lived with her for the majority of my life. Just for my family to say that I never lived with her, I just moved in after. So how come I have all of these photos that were taken in my bedroom in her home? My bedroom. In that condo. These were all taken. I lived there. I lived there. This was taken in my bedroom. That's my television. That's my note on the door from my therapist to help me give good thoughts during the day. <laughs> this was the living room. That was my grandmother's couch. And no, Sarah did not tag herself in it. The phone automatically tagged her child because it looks so much like her. If she was tagged, why does it not say that she's tagged? phone automatically tags people. It doesn't mean that it's an actual tag. All of these videos, all of these pictures were taken from my grandmother's home where I was living for so long. Oh yeah, and then unless y'all forgot, my family has also told him that I made my father kill himself. Here's a whole bunch of threats that y'all say I don't get. Drink bleach. Another thing they're saying is that I lived on a prop, I lived on the trailer on the property after I moved out of the condo, and that's not true because there was no trailer on the property. This is the property that I was left. That's not a trailer. Before y'all even say, there's a trailer right there, that's a shed that my grandfather built that was full of stuff and had no. You couldn't live in it. And that's my grandmother's Jeep. We were both out there visiting the property 
when we lived together, we would do that. And I took pictures of the property. This is the dock. Tell me when you see the, sh the, the trailer that I supposedly lived in. Because it doesn't exist. It's just another lie that my aunt told you that you believed. She said there was a trailer on that property that I lived in after I moved out of the condo. There was no trailer on that property. The trailer was torn down a long, long time ago.